suppose you want to graph the terms in a sequence, then unless you're just going to graph the function, the function of x, and get everything in between, if you just want the terms in the sequence, then here's what you can do. First of all, change your mode to sequence. So you hit the second key. No, you don't have to hit the second key. You just hit the mode key, and then go down to function and over to the right and press sequence. Now that changes the mode of your calculator. Okay, so good. Where does it change it? Well, you'll see that change if you hit the Y equals key. You've got a much different menu than you did before. So it's asking you for the general term in your sequence. So that general term is this one right here. It's 6, parentheses, negative 0.5, parentheses, raised to the n minus 1 power. Now, where is n? Well, <clears throat> because we're in sequence mode, when you type the x key, instead of getting the x, you're actually going to get an n, n minus 1, like that. So, we're good. Sometimes, if these sequences are defined recursively, it's asking you for, like, a sub 1 or a sub 2, but we don't have to worry about that because this is not a recursive sequence. As far as graphing this is concerned, we're going to set up our window. And how many points do you want to graph? The first 10, first 15. What do you want? Throw out a number. First 10? All right. So we're going to go from n equals 1 to n equals 10. And what I would suggest you do is at this point let the calculator worry about the rest. Let it worry about adjusting the x min, the x max, the y min, y max. And do that by hitting the zoom key and then zero. Zoom zero will take you to zoom fit. And it'll fit the window of your calculator to match what you need. And it's not very easy to see, is it? But what's going on is that we start out up here at six, and then you go down to negative three, and then up to one and a half, and down, and then up, and down. And pretty soon, this gets so small that it's indistinguishable from the x-axis. You can see if you look really close, maybe I can zoom in a little bit more, that some of these values that are a little bit below and a little bit above the x-axis. In any case, there's your graph. Yay. How are we looking on that one? Okay.